Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rainboots and today we're going to continue our text tutorials with non-script text. If you haven't seen this tutorial talking about the new features, go watch that first. So I'm going to use a heavier font and something playful. So let's say we're making something for a kid and let's say we want this all to cut out as one piece. That's where split text can come in. And so now you have five pieces. So if we click off of that and go into the layers panel, see that they're all text. So we can say, you know, change that to whatever we want. But what we can do is we can join the text like this and have it all cut out as one piece. This is something I get asked a lot and you can, you know, do it like this and then you can take the entire thing. Now, weld is not an option. So instead, you actually would want to go to your combine menu and hit the first one, which is unite, right? And then that's one piece. So the whole thing will cut out as one. So that is one way to join non-script letters. Another way to join non-script letters, let's take a different font just for giggles. We can do this Lato or Lato or whatever. I would actually not use something that thin when you make it small. Again, we're at eight inches. So you can even do an offset first if you want or do an offset after you split the text. But basically, one of the ways that you can combine all of these, let's say you're gonna be putting this into, I don't know, like a, um, what do you call it? Like inside of a door hanger. So a lot of the times, you know, we would do that. So what we've done is we've split, split that text. So we have five individual pieces. We can, so we want this one here, which is distribute horizontally. Now see how it made all of these kerning um, or the spacing in between these similar, but the O seems insane. It's not insane, but to trick the eye, a little design thing, you can just bring it to the edge here. And then what you can do to join non-script text is to create a rectangle. I'm just gonna go a little bit down. Now this is gonna depend on whatever letters you're using. So I'm gonna go ahead and align this everything to the bottom. And then I'm going to align the rectangle as well to the bottom. And then what we can do is take, take this rectangle and join all these. Actually, for this particular use case, I would probably bring it in even a little bit more. And then I would select all, unite, and this first one, or, or combine menu, and the first one is unite. And then that way, Oops, I would actually see how that one went a little beyond the O. You actually don't need that. So you can either hit undo and then um, move this portion in like this, or you can go to the edit nodes and do it like that. So let's just combine all of these again. So we go to our combine menu and hit the first one, which is unite. So now this will all cut as one piece. So I'm gonna do one more hello. And let's make it a pretty bold font so you can see it. We'll take Victoria and we'll use rounded. Lasers hate the 90 degrees. All right, so we're definitely gonna be messing with the spacing, which is what they call kerning. So that's right here. I'm gonna drop it to negative 0.5 and see where we go. Maybe a little bit more than that. Let's try negative seven. There we go. Now you see again how the O is a little further away. Um, I would actually split that text, bring the O in. Just again, you're just tricking the eye. That looks a little bit more distributed. Now what we're gonna do is we come up to the combine menu and hit that first one unite because it's no longer a text. Now it's a vector like our other ones. And then now what we can do if you hit R on your keyboard, if you're determining placement for things, let me change this to a different color. If you're determining placement for things, what you would wanna do, I'm gonna bring to the front, okay. 
So what we would want to do is we would actually want to cut this like a template. So we would make our design, however, we would measure where our um, word would be going and then we can cut this out of here. So if you are new, I would always recommend that you make a copy of this and then paste it somewhere else just so you don't have to hit undo or whatever. Um, but we can take both of these and in the combine uh, menu up here. So if we subtract it, right, then it will take the blue completely away. We'll cut it out of the um, purple. That's the easiest way to do it. And then when you cut these pieces, which again, guess what you can do? You can release this compound path and then you can cut right up against each other. But the, the best part about doing it like this is that you don't have to lose all of this material in between these letters. So you can literally bump this stuff up right next to, so like literally there. And then you can cut all the rest of this out. Oh, because we released the compound pass. So let's go ahead and just take this and subtract that out to get our O again. Anyway, that's what I would do. If you wanted to have a perfect placement for your design, you can create the design as you want and then turn everything else off and then cut a template that fits your design. So you can just glue or use 3M to pop these letters in. Um, and there are other ways we can combine them with shapes, uh, different shapes like we did down here. We can combine, um, layers of text so we can if we were typing hello there we could actually write hello and then join it to the there so let me just move this out of the way i'm going to group that so for instance if we wanted to type in actually let's do uppercase because it's easier to see let's do move this guy over here okay so let's say we wanted to type in hello there okay and let's say we wanted to do it in Victoria, just because it's a little easier for you all to see. All right, so Victoria rounded. Okay, okay. So that let's say we type it as normal. Let's say we split our text. And let's say we want to join this while still having spaces. So first of all, much, uh, I don't like how bit wide that is away from each other. So we're just gonna make this a little, okay. So let's say we have our hello uh, perfectly where we want it. You're basically gonna be matching the kerning or the spacing in the upper with the spacing in the bottom. Perfect. And then now if we use the combine unite feature, this will all cut as one piece. So. That's what, four different ways for you to um, join non-script text. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. Please give us a subscribe. I post tutorials like this. Here are just a few. You can find these in the XCS playlist menu. Learn how to do a lot of stuff, make some cool projects. Doesn't matter your machine when the software is the same. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and do subscribe to the channel.